today we will discuss again in the previous video part of the previous video next we will switch over to the another question last i gave in the description box there is a one question the solution for that question is here the question is what the displacement of simple harmonic motion during oscillation when kinetic energy is equal to potential energy that is say the spring is oscillating simple harmonically what is simple harmonically what is simple harmonic motion to and fro motion is called a simple harmonic motion to and fro motion for example if an object is here the spring is here mass of the spring is here it moves in the upward direction then come here then again goes to down then again the original position it moves here and there from the fixed point then this is called to and fro motion if the body executes to and fro motion if any body executes to and fro motion then this is called simple harmonic motion right? logically we can say to and fro motion is called simple harmonic motion okay so for mathematically we can write for mathematically we can write that is a is directly proportional to x x is the displacement a is the acceleration a is nothing but what acceleration a is the acceleration then you put a constant that is a is equal to there is a constant minus omega square x minus omega square x then omega is what omega is a by x under square root that is the omega value that means uh, this is mathematically correct if a body executes simple harmonic motion means a is directly proportional to x that is acceleration is directly proportional to displacement that is uh, so we take a spring system just to bring we give the external force external force that force that is acceleration giving in this direction at the same time the displacement is in this direction there is a feeling in my hand it tends to come its original position it tends to come its original position that means the displacement is opposite to that uh, restoring force that is for acceleration that, that that's why you introduce to minus sign that is a is directly proportional to x we can say or in other ways a is equal to minus omega square x omega is the angular frequency that is omega is equal to the square root of a by x this uh, if, if if that formula satisfies then that oscillation is called simple harmonic motion that motion is called simple harmonic motion uh, for example if the spring system let us consider the spring system it oscillates it it oscillates or or, 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 or simple pendulum Spring, spring system or simple pendulum executes simple harmonic motion. It is moving in this direction. The total distance from here to the there, the total distance is amplitude. The total displacement from A to B, the total distance is called amplitude. Again, it comes to original position A. Then it moves to B. That is A to sorry C. A to C is the amplitude again. It comes to here. This the the bob that is moves here. Then comes here. Then return back to C. Then return to the same original position. The time taken to complete one full cycle. The time taken to complete one full cycle is called time period. Okay. But but what they asked here? And kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. At what position that kinetic energy is is equal to potential energy? Kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. They asked at what position that a kinetic energy is equal to potential energy? For example, let it be here the position. Let it be the distance is x. Let it be the distance is x. And if it is oscillates like this. Like this, this distance may be x. This distance may be b. The total distance that is O to A, that is O A is equal to A. O to x 
is equal to x. And at that point, potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. Okay. They asked to find the x value where potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. Where potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. I hope you understand. First you write the kinetic energy form it. First you write the kinetic energy form it. That's the kinetic energy form it is what? Kinetic energy is what? Kinetic energy is equal of k a square minus x square. It's a formula derived already in the previous sessions. The kinetic energy of a system executing simple harmonic motion is of k that is a square minus x square. a square minus x square. Don't understand? Then potential energy. Potential energy is what? Of k x square. Of k x square. These two formula are already derived. Okay. What is our case? Potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. Then what kinetic energy is what? Of k a square minus x square is equal to what? Of k x square. Then you cancel the term. That is a square minus x square is equal to x square. Of k of k cancelled. Then a square is equal to what? a square is equal to 2x square. Then x is equal to what? a by root 2. a by root 2. a by root 2. Here the amplitude is given here. 4 cm. That amplitude is given 4 cm. 4 by root 2 multiplied by root 2 on both sides. Root 2 root 2. 2. 2. 4, then getting cancer, the remaining term is for 2 root 2 is the answer here. Which option is correct? 2 root 2 is the correct option. 2 root 2 is the correct option. Or in other words, simply you remember this. If the potential energy and kinetic energy are equal means the distance is nothing but 1 by root 2. That is A by root 2. If an object moves in a circular orbit, the half of the energy is potential, half of the energy kinetic means the distance that is reached by the particle is equal to a by underscore root of 2. If a provided, just you substitute, otherwise leave it. Otherwise a by root 2. Just remember this particular formula, that is the distance is equal to a by root 2. Then kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. Kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. It's a simple type of problem. When this is uh, two times this question was asked in a different manner. This was asked that is 2002 I think. 2002 this was asked. In 2003 the same question is asked in a different manner. Then the maximum kinetic energy of the simple pendulum is K. And then the Maximum kinetic energy of the simple pendulum is K. The displacement when kinetic energy K by 2. Maximum kinetic energy K. They are asked to find the value of displacement when kinetic energy is equal to K by 2. That is maximum kinetic energy divided by 2. That is half of the kinetic energy. At what point that half of the kinetic energy is there? They are asked to. What does it mean? This question only. Half of the kinetic energy means half of the potential energy. At what position? That is x is equal to m by root 2. In the different years, different type of questions were asked. But the solution is same one. Solution is remember that all thing. That is half of the kinetic energy means half of the potential energy. Half of the kinetic energy, half of the potential means at what position, at what point, at what distance. Eh? This is the formula. That is x equal to a by root 2. A by root 2. If they provide that a by root a value, then you substitute the a, you can get your answer. It's a simple question. But uh, just you think over how they are asking the question in different manners. Okay? And this is the thing. Two years asked, same question, different ways, but solution is same. Okay? Shall we switch over to the next one? Here. 
a simple harmonic motion. Already you know that what is simple harmonic motion? I discussed. Simple harmonic motion represents this particular formula. That is d square y by dt square plus alpha x is equal to 0. This is a formula representing simple harmonic motion. Time period was asked. Time period is asked. What is the time period? Okay. How do we write it? Okay. First of all, I write the these equations. That is d square y by dt square is equal to minus alpha x. Are you understand? Well, what is d square by dt square? This acceleration. This is nothing but what? Acceleration is equal to minus alpha x. Minus alpha x. Let it be the first equation. Let it be first equation. Are you understand? Okay. But you know that this acceleration is what? According to simple harmonic motion, acceleration is equal to what? Minus omega square x. Already you know. Acceleration is what? Acceleration is what? Minus omega square x. A proportional to x or A is equal to minus omega square x. Then omega is what? Omega is what? A by x under square root. A by x under square root. Okay. Okay. Then what's the time period? Time period is what? That is 2 by 5 omega. 2 by 5 omega. The formula, basic formula for time period is equal to 2 by 5 omega. Already you know the omega value. Just to substitute this omega value here, that is 2 by let it be as it is instead of a, instead of e, x. Then instead of omega, you write this value, that is x by a. Okay, the time period formula of t is equal to 2 by under square root of x by a. Just to see the substitution, uh, 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 that is options, there is no options at all. Then you change this format in such a manner to get it. Use the first equation. What is the a value? a is equal to alpha x. Just to substitute this one, that is 2 by under square root of x by alpha x. Alpha x. Let it, just, to, just to take the magnitude alone, no need of directions. X, x getting cancelled. What's the remaining term? That is t is equal to what? 2 by under square root of 1 by alpha. This can be written as this can be written as t is equal to 2 by by under square root of alpha. This is option here. T is equal to 2 by under square root of alpha. Which option is correct? 2 by this is option correct. Are we understand? Okay, actually, this, this is two types of problems, but the solution is same. This is a single problem. They provided the equations. From that equations, you find the time period. For that, you must follow this particular step. From that, you find the A value, already basic formula, simple harmonic motion, you have. And from that, you find it uh, omega, then substitute the, again the basic formula, then you can get your answer 2 by by under square root of alpha. Uh, this is a, a simple, simple problem. Only thing is one, what you have to do. Just you understand that. Again, I am telling the same thing. Just you understand the basic concepts. Uh, then only you can uh, do better um, solutions for the problems. Again, in the same manner, I will give the, some sort of a instruction as well as uh, um, some questions. Uh, some important questions in the description box. Just to go through that description box, otherwise I will leave the solution for the next video. Anyway, just you subscribe. Uh, we can get uh, interaction uh, time to time, uh, which is very useful for your uh, study. All the best. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.